Neo 2 content coming this week, and thank you for participating in the polls so I can make a more tailored playthrough for you awesome people. Over 5,000 of you are riding with me now, and as always, I can't express my appreciation for letting me do something I love and giving me an opportunity to produce and provide. <laughs> It's clear that this horn packs a Saiyan punch, but is it more Brawly or Nappa? Let's take a look at the Demon Lord War Drum. We start off this horn review with a very respectable raw attack of 1176. A pretty good spot right above your typical end game horns. Now we come to one of the strengths of this horn, the sharpness. It's rocking a very solid chunk of purple sharpness that gives you a bit of room to explore with your build, or you can play it safe still, whatever you want to do. Sticking with the strengths of this horn, we come to the awesome 15% affinity head start that is also greatly helpful when it comes to your build structure that you have in mind. A thunder element of 300, and if you watched my video on the light break, Tambur, I have a similar gripe with the element being so low just because thematically and during the fight, Furious literally spams lightning attacks from his slam to his lightning beam, his lightning beam to the face when he grapples you, the lightning balls he shoots, etc. The description even says, The booming sound of this Furious Rajong hunting horn summons savage thunderclouds. But even the gripe that I have there is less unfortunate than the fact that this horn doesn't have any deco slots. To be fair, with the solid amount of built-in purple sharpness and the kick start at 15% affinity, it is by no means slouching behind other horns. But it's always nice to have some slots to work with and have that flexibility. The song list is one of my favorites in what I refer to as the immortal song list. You'll be pretty familiar with it if you were a fan of the very solid Rook Searer or the seething basil horn. Another contrast from the last video I made, if you're an attack up enthusiast, this one's definitely for you. You can go super saiyan with this golden ape horn and spread the boon attack up L. If you're looking to heal the group and feel like loading up a few repeats, health recover small is here. I'm still not really a fan of actually using this mid hunt, but moving on. A fantastic song, especially against Raging Bracky in his final stage, Recovery Speed L gives you a sweet infusion of hyper fast health recovery to counteract those dots. Impact Echo Wave is that solid burst damage while also having some sweet KO to go along with it. There really is a few select things that I enjoy more than three times encoring an Impact Echo Wave and knocking out a monster. Lastly, we end on a set of very good notes that happen to play the extended health recovery song. That Valhazak set bonus that lets you recover health beyond the red bar? Yep, that's the song in a nutshell and now your entire group can enjoy it without needing two pieces of that Valhazak armor. So it may be a surprise to those of you that have been tuning in for some time, but I will not be using Master's Touch in this build for a number of reasons. Firstly, that solid purple sharpness that we talked about on the horn makes me feel comfortable enough to roll without it and live dangerously using fins to sharpen in opportune moments. Right off the bat, I can tell you, if you've done good and stayed up with upgrading your charms, you'll be able to build similarly with even more more efficiency. We have some typical staples in this build with weakness exploit, crit eye, and health boost. Attack boost to 4 for that extra affinity, maximum might and agitator max because we're ready to have some fun. We're not stamina heavy as hunting horn users, so with that instant activation, we have a constant 40% affinity boost. Agitator is just so good to have with those awesome raging bracky pieces and pretty easy to reach with a couple combo decos if you're a slacker like me. Horn Maestro Max because we want our dudes to last more than 5 seconds. And finally the absolute godsend that is Evade Extender. Use it. Seriously, just give it a try and see if your life isn't changed for the better. You guys thought I was kidding, but I forced this into my bills one way or another every chance I can.
As far as the design goes, I'm still not absolutely sold on the fact that it looks like a Gillette razor on top, but if you're going to be a war drum horn, they gotta go somewhere. The massive amount of golden fur that they added on absolutely did wonders. This does come with a tiny caveat because it can literally take up a decent portion of the screen at the wrong angles and can give you a bit of trouble at times. But the color variation on it is beautiful and the added aesthetics of the thick corded rope make it an overall really good looking horn. And I've never really paid too much attention to the name of a horn, not since way back with the Sonorous Iceville, but man, the Demon Lord War Drum surely sticks with you and is 100% badass. Let's take a listen to the soundtrack. This video is going to be a first of many things because I know I say I'm typically a fan of the minimalist tracks, but I actually enjoy the totality of this soundtrack and it has a lot going on with each track. The drums come through fluidly on each one and are represented well. It feels like they went hard into the cultural aesthetic for this horn and I'm glad they did because the whole package is great. Taking this horn out into the battlefield, one thing was absolutely clear from the jump, this thing packs a punch. Like that swinging charge punch that Donkey Kong does in Smash Bros, that's a pretty solid comp for this horn. Seriously though, taking this thing out, fresh out of the box, no augments or anything, it performs really well. You don't have some exuberant amount of element either, which depending on the situation can be a gift or a curse when you talk about all the numbers with hit zones and whatnot. So across the board, this horn isn't going to really put you in a bad spot regardless of what monster you're facing. The thing you need to do though is be much better than I was with my sharpness management for the gameplay. And that's honestly a testament to the awesome levels of sharpness. I'm used to barely paying attention to it with Master's Touch. Typically I just know I need to sharpen in between transitions, but with this horn and the build I used, I've just found opportune moments to whip out a fin and sharpen up. But back to my poor sharpness management. Even when I dipped down below purple, I was still impressed with the numbers fresh out of the box. The song set itself breeds for some great group utility, and even with your set options. You might feel a little safer using something like the Safi armor set, knowing that you have super recovery speed and extended health recovery if need be. You just need to be cognizant that this horn has zero deco slots, so you're not going to get that extra bit of room to build upon like the light break timbre. Nonetheless, this setback is at least countered with a solid built-in purple sharpness and an already boosted affinity, so maybe saving up on the deco slots for crit eye and handicraft might make up for it in your build. Regardless of how you decide to build around it, it's a horn that is brilliant on its own two feet and I can appreciate a horn like that. You don't have that high raw with the sacrifice of taking on abysmal sharpness like the acidic lavenous horn. But you also don't have the opposite like in the case of the cry in the night where you have plenty of purple sharpness but a laughable raw attack. Another way that it diverts from the acidic lavenous horn is that it doesn't look horrendous. They really would have been hard pressed to make a more fitting furious Rajong horn. I love the way you can tell it's a direct upgrade from the OG Rajong horn in the looks department. Not only that, but the soundtrack is all over the place, albeit a bit more tame than the actual monster itself, but the craziness fits the narrative of an SSJ ape that is relentless in its attacks. 
But that's going to be it for this one. The Demon Lord War Drum is absolutely a horn I'll be going back to frequently. I've already long hit my boredom of using Safi variation horns, so adding in another solid horn that gets the job done is more than welcome. If you're a hunting horn main or frequent user, I surely recommend you craft this one. If you're someone who maybe hasn't gotten to put together a Safi horn just yet, but want a taste of what a solid horn can do, use those extra ghoulish gold gores and craft this one. If you liked the video, please let me know with the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Hunting Horn, Iceborne, and other gaming content. Dudes forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.